to the new Iron Curtain now and uh, how the West yeah. is shoring up the NATO alliance. For those who miss the old Iron Curtain, so this is, yeah, Europe's <laughs> new Iron Curtain, I think the Metro has it. And it, this is uh, Biden speaking at NATO summit, and he's announced the cr several measures. The, so the creation of a new base for the U.S. Fifth Army Corps in Poland, which is the first permanent American base in the country. Meanwhile, NATO have uh, formally invited Finland and Sweden to join the alliance after Turkey dropped its opposition. Um, NATO have announced that their high alert force has been increased from 40,000 to 300,000. So there's various escalations of, of NATO. And Moscow has reacted with fury, of course, saying that NATO expansion will be destabilizing for Europe. Could argue a little bit of irony when you've just started a war. But, <laughs> but we have to be ba balanced on this show. And, you know, some people do think, of course, that, that NATO were too aggressive in expansion. And that is certainly Russia's view. They're saying we consider the expansion of the North Atlantic lines to be a purely destabilizing factor in international affairs. It does not add security either to those who are expanding it, those joining it, or any other countries that perceive the alliance as a threat. That was the foreign, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov, uh, possibly mm. pronounced badly. Anyway, so that, that's essentially that's, that's the key part. Yeah. The thing, too, I think, too, is that the, the, the European, because there's Poland and then these various other countries like Latvia and so on and so forth, are being, uh, 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 they sort of surround, don't they? They're the border states of, of, of Russia. So I sort of thought of it as an iron pelmet. More, more than, <laughs> than I'm sure that would be a useful <laughs> diplomatic intervention you think, if you were to send that across. Yes.